According to a new poll, 62% of Nigerians believe President Bola Tinubu's administration would bring the country ahead. CMC Connect LLP, a Lagos-based public perception consulting and strategic communication organization, conducted a poll in collaboration with Analysis Data Services and Resources, ADSR. According to the firms, 1,714 people from the country's six geopolitical zones took part in the survey and offered their thoughts on Tinubu's first 60 days in office. 38% did not see the country moving forward under the current administration, while 62% do, the report reads. By and large, respondents are less satisfied with the first 60 days of the current administration, but they are more optimistic about the country moving forward under the current administration. According to the story, the suspension of Godwin Emefiele as governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria and Abdul Rashid Bawa as chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has been met with widespread approval. According to the report, respondents supported the use of votes other than redesigned Naira notes as legal cash, although they anticipated a withdrawal of the electricity subsidy drew strong criticism due to concerns about energy costs. According to the reports, respondents expressed moderate satisfaction with the unification of currency rates and the president's objective of a 6% average growth rate for the following four years. There is substantial dissatisfaction with the arrangement of the ministerial list among respondents, emphasizing the relevance of diversified and representative cabinet selections, the report reads. The removal of petrol subsidy generates mixed views with a significant portion becoming disheartened and harboring strong concerns, showing the sensitive nature of energy policy changes. Planned opening of more land borders and the release of fertilizers and grains to farmers and households enjoy favorable reception. Respondents support the appointment of service chiefs and the dissolution of governing boards of government agencies. The suspension of the import tax change levy on certain vehicles, the introduced green tax on single use plastics, and excise duty escalation on locally manufactured products receives favorable thumbs up. The establishment of the Nigeria Education Loan Fund garners mixed satisfaction levels, underscoring the need for a balanced approach to education financing. According to the study results, 33% of respondents did not vote in the past election, whilst 67% did. 51% of the respondents voted APC during the last election, 5% voted PDP, 32% voted LP, 2% voted NMPP, while 10% voted other parties, the reports adds.